What's up everyone, Clay here, and have you ever thought to yourself, I really wish someone would release a steering wheel for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe because that's how I really want to play it. Apparently, it's not too crazy of an idea since Hori just released the Mario Kart Racing Wheel Pro Mini for the Nintendo Switch, roughly two and a half years after the release of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And today, we're gonna take a look at it. So, let's get into it. Way back in March of 2017, the Switch launched with what seemed like an incredibly small amount of games, even though one of those games was The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which is still regarded as one of the best games on the platform. That didn't stop critics from continually commenting on the seemingly lackluster lineup. Fast forward one month to April 28th and Nintendo gives us the Switch port of one of the best Mario Kart games ever made. Shout out to my Mario Kart Double Dash homies. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's updated visuals, reworked battle mode, new characters, and the double item mechanic stolen from Mario Kart Double Dash led to it becoming the fastest selling game in the series, selling 1.2 million copies worldwide in only three days. And as of September of this year, 2019, it is still the best selling game on the platform with a little over 19 million copies sold. Trailing about 4 million copies behind is Smash Ultimate at 15.7 million. I suppose those numbers could answer the question of why would Hori release a Mario Kart themed racing wheel in 2019? But who's going to answer the question of, is this thing actually any good? That answer is, I'm going to try. Hori actually released two models of the Racing Wheel Pro. The Pro Mini, which is this guy, and the more expensive Pro Deluxe. Now, I couldn't get my hands on the Deluxe model, so we're going to be taking a look at the more affordable and, in my opinion, much cuter option in the Pro Mini. This thing may be called the Mini, but the price tag certainly says otherwise. If you want to pick up one of these bad boys, it's going to run you upwards of $75 total. The Pro Mini comes in a pretty big box. I couldn't imagine the size of the deluxe version. Hori is nice enough to include a multilingual instruction manual, just as they did with their SplitPad Pro. Other than that, the only things left in the box are the steering wheel and the pedals. Once you get them out of the box, you can kind of tell why this is called the Mini. It's pretty small. It, it's perfect for kids, but not so much adults. And it isn't terrible or unusable, but be warned if you're older or bigger, this thing is pretty small. Overall, this little setup feels incredibly sturdy and well made. The wheel itself seems tight and responsive out of the box, and the D-pad feels about the same as the one they included on the SplitPad Pro. Not as good as an 8-bit Doe D-pad, but not terrible either. The face buttons aren't clicky, but do have an overall solid feel and press to them, while the paddles on the back, acting as the left and right bumpers, give you just the right amount of resistance when pulling them. Hori added four suction cups to the bottom of the base to help the wheel stay in place while you're playing. For the most part, these cups are incredibly strong. This little end table isn't exactly the heaviest thing in the world, but I also didn't expect it to pick it up. Do be warned that if you are having an intense gaming session and pushing the wheel away from you, then depending on the surface it's stuck to, the wheel may tend to scoot just a little bit. They don't skimp on the rubber pads for the pedals either as they are seriously grippy when fresh out of the box. However, I'm going to be using them on carpet so they don't really do me any good. The steering wheel connects to the switch via a generously long USB cable. While the pedals connect to the back of the wheel via an equally long modular connection. Hori also included a big programmable button in the middle. That M isn't just for show, you can actually map it to whatever button you like. I'm sure you're probably wondering how it plays and handles Mario Kart in the real world, and I must say that despite the fact that it does feel pretty small in my bigger hands, playing Mario Kart with an actual wheel feels pretty good versus playing with motion controls on a Joy-Con shoved inside of a cheap $5 plastic ring. Of course, your regular controls feel fine as you make your way through the menus. This is Hori we're talking about here, they do know how to make controllers. 
The real fun comes when the race starts and your foot is pressing the gas pedal while pulling off sweet drifts and launching items. As expected, the wheel is responsive and tight in a perfect way. The resistance is just enough that it feels almost natural. Using the paddles on the back to control your drift and use items is much more satisfying than I was anticipating it to feel. At first, when you're getting used to it, you will probably screw up some turns. After all, you're human. Unless your name's Matt, then you're a machine. But soon, you'll be back in the swing of things, winning 200cc races with this little guy and feeling like a total boss. Yes, this thing plays Mario Kart incredibly well, but how does it handle other games? Well, it handles them like any other controller would, only you have a very awkward layout if you have any need for those shoulder buttons. Again, like I mentioned earlier, the D-pad here is above average and pretty good. Everything else is solid and responsive with no mush or soft feeling presses. If you want, you can easily play 2D mechanically simple games with this thing. But once you start trying to play games that rely on those shoulder buttons, you may as well unplug it and use an actual controller. If you're up for a challenge, you can turn the wheel left and right to move as well. Time to go beat Dark Souls. Overall, Hori has produced another quality product with the Racing Wheel Pro Mini, and even with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe setting on top of the best-selling Switch games, in 2019, with so many good titles to choose from, it's hard to imagine someone dropping $75 and going back to play this. Sure, it's a nice little package and would honestly look pretty cool sitting on a shelf or by your TV with the added bonus of also being a neat, usable controller for those times that you actually needed it. However, with a $70 price tag for the Mini and $100 price tag for the Deluxe, I can't recommend this to anyone right now. Maybe you're not a full-grown adult, or if you are, maybe you're looking at buying this for a kid. And while this will work with more racing games than just Mario Kart, at $75 for the Pro Mini, I just can't recommend it. Having only seen photos of the Deluxe version, had Hori found a way to make the Pro Mini $50 and the Pro Deluxe $75, these would be a lot more tempting. But as always, I would love to hear your thoughts on it because after all, these are just my opinions after a couple weeks of playing with it. If you have any experience with this steering wheel or other steering wheel setups, I would love to hear about those down in that comment section. And until next time, take care everyone. Thank <laughs> you.